Good evening and welcome back. Let's jump straight to it. Let's continue expanding. Let's continue warfare. Let's continue everything of the good stuff. We have some rebel uprisings coming up, maybe. We'll just have to wait and see if that happens. An unfortunate thing that I have noticed now when I loaded into the save, I don't know if it's... Uh, uh, I don't really know what's causing it. But this place, oh, and I get events popping up all the time. Uh, let's take the money. This place and this place has a fort for some reason. It has a capital fort, nonetheless, with 1,000 men in it. And I don't know why. I've, I've seen some people complain that uh, capital forts have been uh, stuck there. When I loaded in uh, the previous save into uh, this update, then the whole of Rome was filled with capital forts for some reason. I haven't had this issue up until now and I don't know why. Before I used Imperial Universal's music mod, uh, however with some copyright problems I decided, hey, let's not use that anymore and took it away. And maybe that's causing it, but I don't really see how. The music files shouldn't really affect anything of the sort. Alright, let's do this so we have some... Oh, ahead of time. Ahead of time is always great. It's always wonderful because we get some stuff. I don't remember exactly what, but we get some stuff. I... yeah. Is it tax? What is it that is affected by this? I uh, should really have, have read that. There's something that increased when you have admin technology ahead of time. Oh, there we go. Being ahead of time gives the following bonuses. Production efficiency, my plus 20%. Ah, uh, production. All right. And this is trade efficiency. Got it. Oh, sorry. I hit the mic. Got it. I got confused. I thought it was tax. Tax would have been much better for us because we earn more tax. But with that production, look at that production. It's so nice. And yet we earn so little. We really need to fix the road system. We do have a mission to build Via Appia. However, money is of, well, not of the essence. Um, well, it is kind of of the essence. We need it anyway. Let's see, where, where was the road again? Ah, here we go, gravel road. We only have Roma. Roma is the only thing that has roads. But we need one here, we need one here, we need one here, and I'm pretty sure we need one here as well. Damn, that's gonna be costly. Yeah, we need all the way to Capua. But, who knows if we get it. Gaudini, who are you and why should we care? Ah, some people over here. Ah, no, 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 it's already failed. Don't want him, don't need him. Still only have one army, that's all we can afford. It's such a major difference. Such a major difference for us. Uh, 393 total population. It has increased by um, a fair amount. Let's see if the census tells us anything at all. It tells us that the tribal population has increased by... Three. Common population has increased by seven. And upper class has increased by two. Tribal population promoted to commoner, five. Common population promoted to upper class, six. That is wonderful. In the best kind of way. Alright, and I feel fairly confident. There will be some peace and revolts here. Uh, we can actually put our army here and probably prevent it from ha even happening. Yep, there we go. We don't have the peace and revolts anymore, so that's good. Uh, we could, do have a, a Kaiser here that we can pick. Yeah, let's pick him. That sounds awesome. He sounds good. I don't remember exactly what it was that uh, was needed. We do need uh, some diplomatic... Yeah, we did. Uh, we did not need a guy that has six in admin tech. The, or admin power. That's not what we needed. But it is useful. We could use... Um, this here. Cell tolerance plus 25% religious unity. 200%? What? 200% uh, slaves to state population. Yeah, that's not exactly at all what's going on. Can we get rid of slaves? Can we abolish slavery? Stability at least one. Okay, let's do just that. When we get it, we will have to abolish slavery because something is a bit off. 200% slaves to state population. That doesn't make any sense at all. Honestly, I think this game has bugged out, unfortunately. I don't know why it did that one. Oh. It's weird. But let's um, let's see if we can just persevere. If we have to ban slavery, then so be it. We will abolish slavery. It's all fine. It's all good. Venetian... Do, 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 Velatian... Something. Something or another. Something or another revolt is happening. Can we get there in time? That is the question. And the question is... Nope, we cannot. But we tried. We gave it a shot. 
If you know any other good mods out there, just let me know and I'll give them a shot. I've uh, eyed in on common universalis, but I think that only changes like uh, mechanics and stuff like that, and not necessarily setting. I've also looked at the uh, Fallout mod, and that looks fairly interesting. I'm not too into Fallout. I played Fallout 2, I played Fallout 3, and I played Fallout do, 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 New Vegas. Um, but I'm not super duper into um, Fallout in that way that I would like to play necessarily. Like a mod for EU4 in it. And I'd also like to give the Warcraft mod another shot. It was a long time ago since I made a video on that one. And uh, hopefully it has improved in in uh, a few things. Okay, let's abolish slavery so we get rid of that uh, modifier. That should then... Because we don't have any slaves anymore, so... Yeah, we have lost the effects of that. That's great. At least we... See, we could counteract it. So, fine, we did have some issues with uh, one of the things bugging out. But we counteracted it. We found a way around it. Found a way around it. That's all that we needed. Now we have zero slaves. And that's just how it will be. We can get use of experience to decrease our military technology cost by 5%. Could be useful. But I think we should just declare war. Uh, if we declare war on these guys, we will have the non-other people joining in. Let's do that then. Let's be at war. We need Mediolanon. The other guys can take the rest. We don't... I don't really care about that. But we need Mediolanon. They can't have it. And uh, let's pick a diplomat so we get that nice, nice, sweet diplomatic points. He's also a horse lover. Uh, religious unity would be nice. Also, the tech would be nice as well. So maybe we should go for the tech first and then we can go for something else. Okay, the army is standing up there. Let's crush it so we will... Uh, well, they know that we were the one crushing them and not anyone else. There we go. Another thing that I wish to find is a mod that works in multiplayer. I haven't really found... Or like like one of these um, re reshape the entire world kind of thing. Because I tried to play this in multiplayer. It does not work very well. It uh, out of syncs like every three years for apparently no reason. I know the developer is trying to fix it, but I, I just don't know. Like how how could how could it be fixed? No idea. Maybe we should take uh, Sabatsi as well. Yeah, maybe we should. It will bring in a ton of people. Corsica among them, which is not as nice. Ta Taurini and uh, Inguani. So basically all of these. That's fine actually. That um, that offsets the whole issue with um, having to deal with these Corsicans over here. Uh, we'll see a ton of things to us. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, improve that offer. Alright, so you consider us completely... Alright, so they want to give up us all of this. Do we really want to have that then? Yeah, I kind of do. This is Wasteland, this is Wasteland. This would be perfect for Fort. Block off all of the people in the north. Helveti and uh, whatever else. So let's do that. Let's take that. And then... Uh, well... We will just take the rest of the land whenever. So now we have Mediolanum, which is a good thing. Don't really have enough to do fix that yet. And we should probably get to building a fort there as soon as humanly possible, which will be when it's cored, pretty much. All right then, uh, let's leave behind a small force to siege. We have lost at sea, which is, well, terrible. Un not unexpected, but terrible. And then we will go and face our foes in battle. Fierce battle awaits. Especially if they send even more forces to join in, which they are. But it will be too little, too late and whatnot. We will slaughter them all. There we go, they arrived there. And uh, we will catch those guys up there. Wonderful. So we basically just annihilated them. Le Ponti. Who are they? Were we at war with them? Or are they somewhere else? I don't... Oh, they... Oh, sorry, where are you guys? We just were at war with. My memory. It's... Um, it's not a good sign. 
It's not a good sign. Where, where are they going? Oh, this is uh, uncolonized land. And this is too. Okay, so there's some other paths as well that they can take, which is unfortunate. Would be great if it were only one pass and we could roll it, but it's not the case. We can also put up a fort here. Don't know why we can't make it yet, but maybe we should have one in Verona then. Maybe we should have a fort here. But what we should have with the money is not building forts. We should build gravel roads for the people. So which places, dear quest? Okay, Antium, Taracina, Minturnae, and whatever else this is called. Make that a court too. Alright, and uh, gravel road, gravel road, gravel road. Let's start in Capua. And then make our way here. Maybe we should make another one. There we go. We built two more sections of the road. So that is good. We will help out our allies maybe. We're sieging that fort, which is of great importance. It's not as strong as it used to be because they get conquered, I am pretty sure. Statielli is uh, not a thing anymore. They are dead. Cartographer joins our court. Oh yeah, speaking of which. Speaking of which. I was thinking of something with the religion part. Because we do have a lot of different religions. We have a tough time um, converting anything at all. Uh, so let's see. We could do this thing with... Um, oh, wrong thing. There we go. Go into the estates. We can go and appoint court priest. There will be a gain a skill 1 priest of Latin heritage following the day Consentus faith. He will give minus 2 natural rest and plus mercenary, uh, mercenary, missionary strength plus 0.5%. And he will be 50% cheaper. Did I mention that? Maybe I did. He will only cost 0.62 per month. They, that is payable. Most definitely payable. Alright, alright, alright. We have some issues. Well, I see it. I see it happening. Uh, we're being attacked over here, and we need to reinforce immediately. There we go. Solved it. Not a biggie. Not at all. What is a big deal is that we are being crushed at sea. And our allies and whatnot are being hammered by these guys. Corsica. So if we could get rid of Corsica, that would be great. Because currently I think they value their army and navy and whatnot. We could start a golden era if we so desire. Which uh, I never know when to use the golden eras, honestly. Never know. Never know. Like should we should you do it early so you can utilize the the stuff to become strong? So strong that you don't need those bonuses to begin with? Or should you wait for it? Until you're a bit stronger? Don't know. Alright, drought is happening. The siege is gonna go and end soon. Unfortunately, they have a siege down there that's soon we're gonna end. And now we lost our general as well, so we need a new general. Oh god, that is a great, great general. Look at that guy. Six in fire, six in shock, seven in maneuver, and three in siege. He is a masterpiece. He is magnificent. In almost every regard. Alright, let's go down there. If nothing else, we need to, well, de-siege it. Which we eventually will will do. We'll, we'll manage somehow. But seven in maneuver, that's going to increase his speed quite a bit. Hopefully. Can't increase his speed otherwise. But he is pretty fast. Oh, um, it's not gonna. It's not gonna make it. There's no way. We require enormous amounts of luck. Ah, uh, he's closing in. He's closing in. He's closing in. Nah, didn't 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 happen. But he was he was fairly close. Fairly close. Gotta say. All right then. That's gonna take forever. That's oh, I want a breach so badly, but there's no way I can make a breach. Maybe we should have continued up here and just sieged further. We have our ally Pompey that is doing just that. Do we really care about this? Like, can we pay Corsica off to just bugger off? No, we cannot. 
We wish to offer you money. No, we actually don't have any money. We're losing money, which is um, less than stellar. All right, then let's just continue. We have some enemies that are trying to siege us. Let's just finish the war quickly and we will all be fine. Pompeii. Oh, they, well, they gave up, which is uh, less great. Less than great. They had a nice siege going and now we have to redo that from the beginning. All right then. We'll do that. Let's go to that place and siege it. We also have this guy that we need to get out of the war. Then we have this guy that's been hired by some other guy. There we go. Excellent. And with this guy's siege ability, that's gonna be quite quick, hopefully. Let's pick that guy. We need more diplomatic power anyway, so it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Don't you worry. Pretoria. Polentia. I kind of want all of these provinces. Disease outbreak, really? Is that what we got? That is unfortunate. But that is what we have. That is what we have to deal with. And we are still losing money. Maybe that advisor was not as um, as cheap as uh, expected. Maybe we should just you know turn off the the fort here, fort here, and that also has a um, a capital fort. Damn it! Why does it have a goddamn capital fort? All right, we're earning money now, but barely, 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 barely. We could raise war taxes. Let's just do that. There we go. Now we have money. Just don't want to take a loan or something like that. Something wrong with taking a loan necessarily, but, but, I still don't want to do it. That's all. But yeah, this um, this whole deal is um, a bit annoying. That's why I had to redo it to begin with, because it was a million capital forts. Now it is, we have four capital forts within our borders, potentially more. Yeah, this one is a capital fort as well, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think it is a capital fort. Yeah, I think this has a capital fort. We could try that. Yep, it is, this is one is a capital fort too. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five capital forts within our land that we know of. Anyway, maybe it is someone hidden. That is not great. That's actually really darn annoying. For, in a way, it's a good thing, I guess, if you want to be really cheap about it. But it's, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like that that is happening. And could it really be that I turned off the music mod? Is that really what caused it? It can, makes absolutely no sense. I don't know if there's been any, any updates in between. Let's just try to see it. Or, um, Let's storm it. We're gonna lose men. It's fine. We can replace them. Yeah, we didn't lose that many men anyway. It's all good. And attach one, some guy. Oh no. Revolt up here. Let's go for that thing then. Actually, let's go everyone together because we can't leave them all alone. Alright. Will you reach there in time, mister? Please tell me you will. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, 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 hit it. So you go to Polentia and uh, siege that, and you are the guy, you just go and do your thing. Let's do a thing, man. Albium inguanium. Guan inguanum. Yeah, yep, that's totally how it's pronounced. Let's go for that guy again. Or a similar kind of guy, I guess. Alright, we have uh, a piece here that we can do. We can just take it all. Maybe. Yep, 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 we can. And that will uh, make sure that we have almost taken everything in the north of Italy. Which is a good thing, I might point out. 
Because we, now we have the protection of the Alps. Meaning we have only limited access points. To be attacked from. We have the Gauls over here. Well, we're still fighting like Celts. It's, it is called... Um, Gallia Cisalpina for a reason. They're still considered Gauls or whatnot. Over here. But... Now we have the goals over here that are our main threats in the way, in the north, and in the other side we have the Veneti. And the Veneti, we could just make a line here. And in fact, maybe we should take a look at the mission. What does the mission tell us that we should take? The mission tells us that we're missing out on that thing, that thing, and apparently not that thing. So that thing is not needed, but those two things are. So we might be able to complete this mission. Uh, with this conquest here. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? The only main issue now is that Corsica is still in the war and I don't want to give up. So I am not certain how to fix that. Not certain at all how to fix that actually. So we're ahead of military tech, there's no reason not to just pick that thing then. Here we go, that one is done for. Let's uh, take that in a piece. As long with well, whatever money you have left. And now it's this thing left. We want to take you, but you w actually will agree to it. Okay. I expected you to say something about, oh, will we lose our annexation or vassalization? But they consider themselves to be so beaten that it doesn't really matter. All right, then let's just finish the war by taking that. And now we should maybe have finished that mission. Yes, yeah, so let's see what the mission does. It gives us culture in Mediolanum will become Latin, uh, Mantua, Raven, Ravenna, and we will have some more core or claims. I, I am not a big fan of this system at all, I gotta say. Not a fan. I played a bit more now, um, a bit more still with... Um, no, oh no, it burnt down. But I played a bit more in single player and the multiplayer, I guess, of the regular game with the whole new system. I am not a fan, not a fan at all. It just feels like it's been more railroaded, I guess. Because you get so many, it's so insane how many things you you get. Like, you get so goddamn many claims. Like for Austria, for example, you take, you start with a little Austria, right? And then you get through uh, those missions, uh, personal unions with both Hungary and Bohemia, very, very early and very, very reliable compared to, to before, where it was a bit random. And I gotta say that it was a bit annoying when it was random because you didn't really know if you would get that thing or it would be in that situation where you could have gotten those personal unions. So in that sense it's better. But if you then look at the permanent claims you get all around and they don't go away, people don't care that you have them, it's insane. It's insane how many permanent claims. I'm not a fan of them being permanent, I guess, most of all. Because it just makes it so much easier to expand than it was before. So much easier. Rant's a bit over. Maybe. Uh, maybe we shouldn't uh, do the drilling, actually. We do have rebels coming up in Genoa. In uh, do -do places. And we only have one of these pe these people up here. Alright, so we've taken everything here and uh, Mediolanum is now Latin and De Consentus. Uh, Mantua. It's a Latin and De Consentus, and uh, I think it was doo -doo -doo, Mantua, 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 wasn't it? No, we looked at Mantua, but it was something else. Ravenna, Ravenna. Unfortunately, all of these have absolute nothing in population, barely. Mediolanum, you will be a great place one day, but we aren't at the moment. No, 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 sir. We do have this thing as, as a fort. That could, yeah, that's, uh, that, uh, that works as a fort for this pass over here. And we have a fort here that works for the pass here. So we have the left side, the west side fixed. We just need a fort in Verona and it will be safe on the other side as well. So I'm, I'm confident in our defensive capabilities. It's only unfortunate that we still only have one army to safeguard the entire, entire empire. Which is a bit unfortunate. We have quite a bit of autonomy left in most places. We're taking so much land here that all of it... We, we can't even make states out of these things yet. 
More than 20 years of separatism left. But that was in Luna. More than 10 years and... And more than 20 years. Damn it, so we're far away from making that into a state. Amelia. Yeah, 10 years. 10 years. We've, yeah, we've taken... We've expanded really quickly. In a short period of time. Okay, we got a lot of verbals coming up at the same time. Let's just kick their asses. Let's go for that one first, because this one has a fort. And these new conquests doesn't seem to leave capital forts left behind them, at least. So, you know, that's a good thing. Could just live with these other forts, I guess. There's not too many of them. So I don't think it will be that big of a bother. The other thing to do now is absorb Pompeii. Absorbing Pompeii will be uh, a bit of a challenge. Because uh, what you need to do is make them half autonomous, then non-autonomous, and then start absorbing them. And they can't be aggressive towards you when you absorb them. But maybe we could uh, we could try. We could uh, make them half autonomous. It will cost us 100 diplomatic power. Now they're currently a bit more rebellious. Because we, you know, we made them uh, into more of our bitch. They don't like that at all. And soon we will have to make them non-autonomous. And that will make them less happy. We could just make them autonomous again, but we lose to 100 diplomatic power and we'll be it for nothing then. Yeah, let's just wait for a bit more diplomatic power. Provincial unrest. We have so much national unrest lowering here, and yet we have so much unrest in our country. Could it be because people don't want to be Romans? Nah. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Well, I forgot about one thing. Let's make more roads, shall we? Let's finish this up, yeah, thing. Just need a tiny bit more coin. And we'll be there. It's in a few months. Or if we debase our currency. Let's try that once. Let's debase our currency to get that money. So we can start making, or finish, rather, the, um, the up, yeah. It's gonna take a long time for us to finish that. Let's just speed up. I'm not gonna just sit and wait until it's all done, but let's speed it up anyway. Uh, we could go for this thing. It does seem like the best thing to, to get. None of, our, none of them are with us to begin with. Let's just give them some political offices. And uh, let's uh, maybe give them some more local power. It's one of them. Uh, actually, both of them. Alright, there was a code of law now. Okay, he died already? Damn it, he was such a great general. Ah, sad. So sad. Don't have that many citizen soldiers to draw from, unfortunately. Alright, let's hope for a good general. Eh, not nearly as good, but he will do. Okay, there was a code of law that have uh, started spreading. Uh, Orion in Oregon... Oregon? Oregon? Origin in over here. In in over here that place. So what do we need to spread that? What do we need to get that here? Uh, nearby friendly promises code of law, of course. Borders nation with code of law, of course. Has center of trade and any trade node province has code of law. Alright, so it will be a bit of a difficult thing to get here, I suppose. Unfortunately. And the archaic period is ending. Soon we will enter the classical period. With the following objectives. Physical science. Talented ruler. Famous philosopher. Unchallenged trade power. Promote the scholars. Sramana tradition. Greek hegemon. And capital of knowledge. So yeah, that's gonna be... Uh, it's gonna take a while to get. Let's get some more diplomatic... Power. All right, should we try to make them into, well, our thing? Okay, they're 44, uh, 44%. That's fine. Our next vassal we can start out immediately. It only cost us 40 diplomatic power. Let's do it. And how long will it take to be done with? It will take us only 10 months. That is great. Soon... Soon Pompeii will be part of us. Uh, hopefully we can just make um, Somnium into a state. There actually is already a state. 
and Campania is also state, so they will be joined in immediately. It will be wonderful. It will be great. Fantastic, even. Are we paying off the corruption? We are. Slowly, it doesn't cost us too much to root out. And it's not like it affects us too much either way of having it. And we also get the ahead of time thing, rooting out uh, corruption. So that's good. That is really good. Is there anything we can convert now? We could do it in some places. It will lower our harmony a little bit. Uh, are we even syncretizing with anything? We're not. Should we pick something? Uh, one thing to, to syncretize would probably be Celtic, because Celtic... Celtic is uh, not something we have a lot of at the moment, though we do have quite a bit of it, actually, now when I think about it. Uh, the most we have is a Tusca Disciplina. That one gives 5% morale of armies, which is pretty darn great. But Celtic will have future properties. Like, look at all the Celtic land over here. Taking that is probably going to be something that happens. So we could do this and state maintenance. Yeah, yeah, sure, let's go Celtic. So we're gonna syncretize Celtic. And what are we doing? Uh, this is Tusca Disciplina. So that works out pretty great. But yeah, Celtic. Uh, if we... Uh, well, as I mentioned before, with all this land being Celtic, synchronize them would be, would be pretty darn good. Uh, we have Ansu Trevo. Don't even know what that is. No idea, actually. All right, soon enough, Pompeii will be ours. In fact, at the end of the month. There we go, it is now part of our land. Let's disband that army, because we can't, can't keep that many soldiers, there's no way. With all of this land, we can only have 30,000 men. 30,000. And uh, then we wait for the Appia to be done. We are already well on our way to do that. And soon it will be done. And when it's done, well, it will be pretty great, won't it? Is there anything we can build to increase our money flow? Anything at all? Anything that comes to mind? Taxman! No. Well, I guess it is better than nothing to just get that, but... Still, noble families have dispute. Don't want to lose stability. Stability costs a lot to regain. We have high prestige, we have a lot of manpower just laying around. We're earning money. We have some revolts that is uh, about to come up. We have quite a few revolts that are about to come up. It's fine. We're discovering more more things. Discovery spread. We have learned of a bunch of things. Yeah, we've learned about things up here in the north. The Teutons. I think this is just, you know, the um, Germanic religions. Celtiberia. Huh. How's it going for the Phoenicians over here? Doesn't look like they have expanded a lot. They have uh, their stuff here, but they don't have a lot more than that. And how's it going for Carthage? Carthage is... Uh, they have expanded quite a bit, I think. Yeah, they've taken quite a bit of land, but they are also having some rebels issues. What kind of rebels are they? Carthaginian pretend rebels, so there's a civil war about what going on over there. A bit of a shame for them, but uh, don't really care too much over here. Do you have any allies? They have Lilbion, Cartena, Tripolitania, Phoenicia, and uh, some other stuff. They also take in a lot of Sardinia, where they also have some issues with slaves this time. Yeah, maybe that 200% uh, slave thing is happening to them. And over here we have Lydia. Which also went in the golden age as soon as I looked at them. We have Babylon that has recovered from their issues. We have Assyria that is dead. Not there anymore. Media that is fairly strong. Anshan that has failed in uh, what it was supposed to do. That could also be a fun playthrough. Playing as Anshan. Playing as the 
Mighty Kuros. Who did great things. Uh, it seems that Macedonia has, or Macedonia has expanded a fair amount. So that's a good thing. Sparta has lost. They have lost uh, Messenia over here. So that's a bit of a disappointment. Egypt is doing well as well as to be expected. Egypt is actually the most strongest strongest nation on earth. In terms of population at least, of course. Let's pick a diplomat. I think via Appia. Uh, yeah, it's only a uh, hundred days away. Let's speed up so we can get through that, so we can finish the mission finally. Because when we finish that mission, we will have the conquest of Samnium, which we are almost already done with. That means we can go on a conquest spree in the south. Doing that will be a good thing. Then we have sudden expansion, which is, well, the rest of the boot. Then we have expand via Appia to reach uh, Taras. Taras is not something we have yet. And it's a... F Damn, that's a long road. We could start building it though. Like if we build here already, we will be uh, prepared for future missions. That is a pretty, a pretty nice idea. So we, let's do that. Let's build a gravel road here, which we cannot do because, well, we uh, haven't cored it yet. Actually, we have a shrine here. So we, yeah, okay. It's done anyway. The Apia is done. Let's complete that mission and we get a um, permanent claims on Samnium. We have rebel uprising over here in places. But let's, uh, let's do the war anyway. We have a fort nearby. We have forts a bit everywhere, unfortunately, due to the bug. Let's start with these guys. They're allied with uh, Sirpius and Lucani, but most one of them won't even join in. Let's uh, declare war. Let's take him out. Let's take him out behind the barn and uh, then tell the kids that they went up to some farm instead. Gobianum. Let's split off the army and kill that guy. Uh, not going too great. Maybe it was a mistake to split off. And they have a large ar large army over there. Maybe it's better to just annihilate their armies and then siege. Seems like a smart move, doesn't it? Once again, the rebel uprising. Archaic period ending in 84 months. They are reacting to our troop movements and are trying to get away. Unfortunately, they're also managing to get away. Going to the places we don't cannot go. Why do, is that a thing still? I thought they'd get rid of it. Like, if they have military access to something, we have military access to that too. Condi like, temporarily. But sometimes that is not the case, and I don't know what governs it. And of course we have rebels all the way up there. Which is a bit of a bugger. And they have ally they got an even more people now to join in. Using their mercenaries. Can we get a military access through here? We probably can, and we do. There we go, let's just annihilate them. And we want that guy, I think. Yeah, I get it. They they got it. Uh, they got it. All right, let's split it up. Let's split it up. These guys go up and fix that stuff, and we will just have to deal with having half the army at the moment. That's the only way to do it. Legio 2 under Lucius Hortensius Crassus. A massive victory. A great general. Eh, I, I've had better generals, but he's still he's still a decent guy. He's still a decent fella. We have military access for Daunia. Daunia. Who the hell are they? I don't even know. Daunia? Are these these guys or these guys? No. What about... Oh, these guys. Alright. All that will be useful for now. And uh, we have alliance with Himera and Brutti. Brutti, do you want to join in the war? No? Uh, no? Okay then. They will not accept. Alright then. They will not accept. Do I need any more info than that? No, not really. No, no, no. It's fine. They don't wanna. They don't have a two. Uh, 
uh, 10.5% towards, well, 11%. Right, they're not going to declare independence because they won't be free. We will not let them be free. There we go. That siege, uh, when that siege is over, we'll simply send them back down to the south. Or maybe keep them up there because there are some rebels about to pop up fairly soon. Somewhat soon. Maybe soon. Ostia. No, not Ostia. Our glorious, glorious port town of Ostia. How can they march past this place? I don't get it. How are they marching past Neapolis? Why are the forces not working for me? Are, are they sailing by boat? Okay, tell me that they are landing by boat. Because that could be a thing. And hopefully that is the thing. Otherwise I will be a little, little, little upset. Alright, our culture is spreading. Let's take a look at our culture map mode. We now have uh, Latin here, here, here. And in this little place here. We are slowly wiping out the Umbri. The Italian people are spreading. Alright, we have Lucani here. We could declare war on them too. We have Poseidonia, we have Pentri. Actually, we should probably declare war on Pentry as well. As soon as that army is coming down, we uh, can siege that thing as well. Okay, let's siege their capital. That will be great. Or actually, siege Ostia first and then you siege the capital. Or uh, you siege this place. Too many words, too many things happening. And speed it up a bit. The legendary market of Ancona. <gasps> they lose... Wait, what? Asculum Sena Gallica. The market of Ancona, which was once the biggest in the area, is now only a shadow of his former self. The merchants have left the, ta the town city and found new places to trade and make profit. Alright. The warrior princess. A woman arrived in Roma with a small retinue. She claims to be from a distant realm and used to be a princess. She fought in many battles and even became leader of an army in, her, in battle. Her brother betrayed her and she had to flee. Now she wanders around and offers her service at different courts. The Bifonic Celtic foreign warrior Cadwy joins your court. Skill 2. Land attrition minus 25%. Movement speed minus 5%. A woman. I, it's not really that... Uh, you know what? Let's just keep her then. I don't really care. We can't afford her, that's the thing. She costs too much, otherwise I will put her on my council. So it's a cost issue, not a gender issue. That's all. Cost issue. She's expensive. I guess princesses, like if you were to hire a prince, the prince would expect to be quite well paid, wouldn't he? So I can't really blame her for taking out money, or so much money, for doing it, her services. Uh, we don't need your help. And apparently we're getting trust with people who don't, we don't need either. So, alright then, sure. So we have Lucania here. How are people uh, considering us? They are... They have... Um, Absolutely zero opinion about our aggressive expansion. That is quite good. Quite good, in fact. Quite decent. Ah, you know what? Ah, come on. Okay, so let's go up and deal with those rebels. Then I have an idea. And that idea was to declare war on these, these two. And take their lands as well. We could just have all of this land connected... All this, that land connected up. Yeah, of course they they manage. They're so far away. Why do they have soldiers up there? Oh, Frentani. Okay, they... No, wait. That doesn't make sense either. Why are the Frentani up there? Why are they sieging that place? Of all places in all of Italy. Or I mean Rome. 
Why that? Uh, we have one last thing to get. I guess just go for the citizen army. Maybe. Power saving and another revolt. Where is it? We just got rid of one revolt. Why not have another? Where is it? I was away all the way over there. All right, then we'll take that revolt. Innovativeness decreasing. That is fine. Even with this amount of innovativeness, we have like what? 1.5% sale, I guess, on power related appliances. All right, then. When we siege these things, I think the Lucani will be out of action. Hopefully. Yeah, they most definitely will. Okay, they are being a bit annoying. So let's go and help out. Yeah, and we got these places. All right. Let's do this then. We'll do it in a quick fell swoop. We take this, we go for a piece with these guys independently. Alright, then we declare war on these guys. I mean, we want this place after all, don't we? Okay, this might actually go really badly when I think about it. But let's do it anyway. Uh, declare war. There we go. We declare war. And uh, we go for a piece over here. Our diplomats are busy. That's good. They need to be. Alright then. Excellent, excellent. Let's make those cores. And then we go for this place. Ah! Ah, did you not manage to join in? And now it's too late. We annihilated your friend's army. Did we not? Wait, there's separatists now, their army? Alright then, let's go and take out the separatist army. And let's bring back our men. Let's bring them back all the way back home to Rome. This province is 999999 away. Oh, okay. That That is... Wait? Yeah, that is fair enough. All right then. Election. Let's go for the diplomat. Okay, so why is our innovativeness decreasing? Oh, we still don't have this technology and um, or that technology. We're going a bit behind on technologies, I guess. Just overall. Uh, we still have rebel uprisings on the way, so we might as well stay up there. There's no need to go down. Carthage seems to have solved their issues and they are fairly strong. I'm surprised to see Carthage to be, well, decent, I guess. Could take a look at it uh, just real quickly in the ledger. So we take on population, which is the same as development. Uh, we have Egypt, Lydia and then Rome. Why aren't we the... Oh, we are actually a great power. I did not notice that pop up at all. That's fine then. We are a great power. We are ahead of Babylon. We're the fourth greatest. Carthage has 342, so not that far behind. And they have... Um, yeah, they're about the same. A little less power projection, but beyond that, no biggie. They're pretty cool. Alright, with our new great powers, what else can we do? Uh, great power status has the following effect. Prestige decay reduced, diplomatic relations plus two. In institution embracement cost minus five percent, and well, we got an extra power projection just because we are a great power. All right then, that is good. What else? What can we do to people? I mean, that sounds a bit naughty. Uh, we can still influence them, and we can break alliances. We can demand that they do that. Cool, 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 cool. I can go for that, or we could wait for the tech. The tech would allow us to have more states. But we're not nearly uh, high enough. So maybe, well, the innovativeness might decrease from just go grabbing the ideas. I, at the same time, don't really care. 
even evade him this. Kind of stupid. It takes so long, it takes so much effort to keep it up. Gives so little in, in exchange. Alright, uh, this place as well, Caudini. And then we have joined up our, linked up our nice, beautiful land. These guys are Illyrian, which is interesting. Different culture group altogether. We are culture Mesopic, yeah, Illyrian group. There's some uh, Hellenic over here, so there's still a lot of Hellenic here. A lot of Hellenic across uh, the Mediterranean and the Black Sea. As to be expected, after all. And here are the Massesis group. The Midian, Maori, Gaetuli, and so forth. The Celt-Iberian, the Iberian, Turditani, and the Gauls, the Gaulic group. Vada Sab Sabatia. Good thing we have an army nearby. Good thing, right? It's like someone predicted stuff like this would happen. How is this a... what? How is that a thing? Okay, let's show province. They have a garrison. Oh, for... damn, that's uh, impressive. I did not know they had that. Yeah, did not know that at all. Wait, could that be why we have something over here then? We have an army camp that gives plus one. And we have a citadel. So this is the army camp that is give, giving up the wrong thing. Ah, interesting. Alright, so that might not be a bu bug after all then. So the army camps give plus one. Since when? I did not notice that before. But it does have the icon of being a capital, which is a bit deceiving. So we might just have solved a big issue then, so it's not really an issue at all. It's the armor camps that give plus one in fourth level. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. There we go, we've taken it. We've done it. We conquered Somnium. And there we go. And that would be the end of the episode, this has been a long one. I think. I lost track of time. Things happened. And now it is time to leave you. But we have completed the conquest in the north mostly. We only have a little bit here. We completed Via Appia and we've taken Samnium. And we'll maybe in the next episode continue our conquest. Well, we most likely, most definitely will continue taking over the sudden the boot over here. So I hope you will join me for that. Until then, thank you for watching. And have, as always, have a great one.